A local girls hockey team that struggled to win earlier this season will enter the playoffs with some momentum. The North Metro Stars, a co-op that includes Osseo, Park Center, Brooklyn Center, Maranatha, Heritage, Fridley, and Columbia Heights are on a roll. The Stars won their last four games of the regular season. That's after recording just two wins prior to that. It's the first time since the state runner-up team in 2006-2007 the Stars have won four straight. It's a good reward for the seniors and others who have persevered through some tough stretches. Going into sections, we're pretty good with four wins. I don't think we've ever won four in a row when I've been here, so it's, I'm pretty proud of them, and I think it's a pretty big deal for us. It's very exciting to uh, have this much success. Um, we've struggled over the years to have this much success, so finally getting it our senior year is pretty, pretty great. Super enjoyable to watch them be able to have some success as they close out their senior years, and it's very rewarding for all of them. I can just see the excitement in the locker room and on the ice, and everyone's laughing and having fun, and it's just a whole different vibe out there. North Metro is the sixth seed in a tough Section 6AA field. There's no doubt they're still a huge underdog, the quarterfinal opponent, Wyzetta, but they are playing with confidence now. Um, well, it's not going to be easy, like you said, um, but, you know, if, I think if we work hard, um, we can put up a good fight. We've played a lot of teams that have beat them, and we've kind of held our own with a few of them, so I think it should be pretty good. Wyzetta is a very good team. That's not a secret to anybody, but the way we've been playing lately, I can't ask for anything more out of the kids, and I really think we have a... Great chance, and again, if we can play how we have been, anything's possible, and the kids work very hard, so we'll see what happens. North Metro and Wyzetta play at 2.15 Saturday afternoon at Parade Ice Garden.